hey guys welcome back so i'm gonna do a quick hydrating mask for the summer because you know it's dry out there so i'm have my I Am skin beauty steamer my spring water that i like to use and i'm gonna go ahead and start my facial mask and i'm gonna add my water into my steamer my spring water make sure that all of it goes in there guys yep that's um 50 i believe 50 ounce yeah 50 ounces so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i screw that in tightly so the steam can come out <laughs> as you can see i have my robe on and my skin looks pretty good right now you know it's not bad at all but i want to make sure i stay hydrated throughout the summer because it was hot today i am skin beauty robe i am skin beauty headband so make sure you get that guys this will complete your self-care in the comfort of your own home yeah i just plugged that in and i'm just kind of just waiting to make it sure that everything is connected the power is on and then i'm gonna go ahead and then show you guys that i already pre pre prepared my cinnamon and manuka mask i have a video on that so make sure you check out the video here's my steamer all right, so I'm getting ready to just apply the Mununuka honey and cinnamon into my skin. So, yep, here I go. I finished, pretty much finished applying it all to my skin. I like to get underneath my eye. I like to get my lips, honey. Don't forget the lips. And then I'm going to go ahead and then start to steam my face. All right, guys, so this steamer is a little messy. This is my first time using the steamer while having the Manuka honey on my face. So I had to make sure I get um, some paper towels so it don't drop all over the place. But I just wanted to try this method. I usually do this with my Indian clay mask. So this time I wanted to try with my Manuka honey mask and see the results instantly. <laughs> All right, so I am done steaming my face, my Manuka honey, and my cinnamon still on my face while steaming my face, so it looks good so far. All right, guys, so I am done. I absolutely love the results. Um, as you can see, my skin is glowing, so I like this method. It's more messier, but... Um, I like it if I'm in a rush and I don't really have time, so I'll probably do this method again, steaming while I'm having the Manuka honey on my skin. All right, guys, so as you saw previously, I'll show you guys how to keep your skin hydrated for the summer. And now this part is what um, makeup I'm using for my acne prone skin. So I, I decided to do a, a skin prep and I actually tried something new. As you guys noticed that I tried the Manuka honey while steaming my face. I found like the results was like instantly um, my skin glow. I didn't have to wait for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours for my skin to glow. So I really like that method, but it is very messy as you guys can see. But now I'm to show you guys how what i use so last week if you watch my video i'm on this journey because i totally forgot how to apply makeup on because throughout the whole pandemic covid 19 quarantining i did not use any makeup which was very beneficial for me because i had the opportunity to clear my skin in the most affordable best way I can and this is actually the results as you can see your girl is acne free I mean I might get a little breakout here and there but it's nothing that I used to go through I used to go through like massive breakouts you know so now I'm trying to figure out what makeup kind of works for my skin for my acne prone skin because I want to make sure my skin breathes like I like breathe throughout the makeup I never want to feel like my skin is suffocated I never want to feel like I'm wearing too much makeup because I cannot afford to go back to that old acne skin so this is acne free skin so this is exactly where i want to keep it i want to be at forever okay so like i said last week if you guys watched my video last week i hope you did and by now you should be subscribed guys come on now i'm giving y'all all the beauty tips i need y'all to subscribe because your girl you need to start getting paid <laughs> But no, I actually really enjoy doing this, guys. But it will be nice if you guys can subscribe. God damn it. Okay, but anyway, back to skin. So this is what I was talking about last week. I used to use this, the Sephora. This is the color um, French Deep 57. I absolutely love this um, a year ago. Like, it, like, 
melt into my skin, even with acne. This was a great um, foundation. Even when I had acne, it, it did its job. I was sometimes able to cover my acne with this foundation. Um, they discontinued this. They don't have this one anymore, but they have a new one. So I went out today and I brought the new one and this is their new formula. And it's called the best skin ever and i had to go um a complexion I, I feel like my complexion has changed throughout this whole pandemic because my skincare has changed i got very aggressive with my skincare and um i use tretinol and all these other stuff so sometimes they tend to darken your skin so i'm trying my best to make sure my skin stays bright chocolate and pretty instead of dark gray and doughy but um shit happens sometimes you know so um i went ahead and went darker on my complexion and this is shade 59 n um you know what they don't have the oh they don't have the name so they just have numbers so 59 n and i really like it I really like it. So last week I used Maybelline. I really like that too. Like I said, I'm, I got to relearn makeup. I got to see what works for my skin. I got to see which is going to be my everyday or my just every other day or maybe nighttime day because my goal is not to wear makeup every day because I don't want to. <laughs> I feel like I got my skin to where I really like where I really like it. So I probably might do maybe a, a foundation at night or maybe do a tint. Um, moisturizer in the day if I feel like it or maybe just do concealer it all depends how I feel that day it all depends how my skin looks that day so I'm just gonna play it how my skin is feeling so if my skin is acne free I have no acne breakouts I probably won't wear no makeup I'll probably just do concealer if I feel like I'm going out that night I, I do want to learn makeup so I can be able to when I go out because my birthday is coming up and I want to know how to apply my makeup again like I used to back in the days but this time I want I want to go hard i want to get better i want to do a lot, lot more contour i want to do highlights i want to do that whole glam look for my birthday and i don't want to find a makeup artist because i feel like i can do it because like like i was saying last week i was almost that girl but then again i kind of got like you know i kind of got lazy i started just doing the everyday makeup which is foundation concealer and call it a day you know the the glam they give you foundation concealer highlight contour bronzer i want to learn how to be that girl so that is my goal to be that girl so i am bringing you guys on this journey with me but at the same time, I want to be that girl and make sure my skin stay clear. So that is my goal. So today I also um, got this Fenty Riri Honey. <laughs> I know my channel is small right now, but I'm telling you, I ain't skin beauty about to blow up, boo. So go ahead and add me on the payroll. Have your peoples call my peoples. Send me some products. <laughs> but anyways, I am using Fenty Brighten Kit. Um, so this is what I use underneath my eyes. I know my lighting in here is not the best, guys. I am working on lighting, don't worry. So bear with me. So this is what I use underneath my, what is going on? This is what I use underneath my eyes. It felt really, really good. It didn't feel cakey or heavy. So it's one of those concealer, it's super light, which I love. And I love the fact that I don't really need to use heavy concealer because underneath my eyes are not that dark. Um, even the girl from Sephora complimented me. She said underneath your eyes, you don't have any dark wrinkles or dark marks or, you know, because your girl use oils. I'm telling y'all, I use oil. I use jojoba oil. We use rosehip oil. I use vitamin E oil. Right now for the summer, I'm using jojoba oil and rosehip oil. And I always put the oils around my eyes because I don't use um, eye cream. I just feel like the oils are just beneficial for me and it works for me. So make sure you get some oils, guys, and wash watch my videos you'll see the benefits on all three different oils but yeah so she complimented underneath my eyes and she said this will be perfect for you and this is how it looks she's like this will be perfect for you um it's really super light so I was like all right I'll try it I'm all on the trying stage right now trying to get back into the rhythm of makeup and stuff like that but the most safe affordable this was $25, under $50, but in the most safe way that does not clog my skin. Because if it's clogging my skin, I don't want it. I'm not fucking with it. Can I curse? 
I don't know. Sorry, but I'm not messing with it. I am not messing with it if it's clogging my skin because your girl want to stay acne free, like I said. So this, um, what's this? Oh, this is the Caramel 15. That's the color that I got. I'm um, gonna show you one more time. Like I said, I really like it. It went very, very smooth underneath the eyes. I still use the LA Girl Concealer, which was Walnut. Or is it Chestnut? Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Or is it Chestnut? I think it's Chestnut or Walnut, one of those. But yeah, I'll get gir girls, I got y'all. My girls, my girls, how y'all doing? I got y'all, don't worry. Like I, I'm not quite there yet to show you step by step. I'm just giving you the basic what I use. I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm, I'm getting in the rhythm. I'm not comfortable yet to show everything on camera cause I'm still learning. But I just wanna show you guys what I'm using and maybe um, motivate you to go out and go try yourself. Maybe you could be on that journey with me learning how to do makeup cause I was talking to girls so far and I was like, is it me or everybody? I forgot how to do makeup. She said you and a whole lot of people cause so many people were not wearing makeup because the mask and everything like that. I was like, girl, I totally forgot how to do makeup. And when I mean how to f how to do makeup, like really do like, the the highlights the um the concealer um do i put concealer before the foundation or foundation before the concealer last week i put the concealer before the foundation with my maybelline this week i put the foundation before the concealer so i'm still trying to figure out which one i like better um i'm still watching all these other beautiful black skin slaying ass queens on youtube shout out to all of y'all man because y'all all showing me how to get this makeup done i'm going to perfect it i know i am but yeah um yeah guys so this is pretty much what i use today this is their this is discontinued this is their new one and this and i did a little la girl here oh let me show y'all my eyeshadow i'm getting better with the eyeshadow y'all see that to the, I did a little, you know, nude, you know, with a little, 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 um, goatish. <laughs> and I blinked out a lot better. Now my eyebrows, my eyebrows, I feel like they were better last week. They're not twins, but they're definitely sisters. You can tell they're sisters. <laughs> so eyebrows are tricky. I do get my eyebrows done. I do get them, um, ombre, ombre ombre powder i do go up to my girls rachel i do have a video on that so you guys can see that but sometimes when i put makeup on when i'm putting on makeup on i feel like it gets lighter so i had to find something for my eyebrows that kind of bring back the color so um yeah i mean they look good but i need to practice more because eyebrows can be tricky you can have one bigger than the other it could be tricky so you gotta kind of like find that good technique and be really really careful when it comes to eyebrows so again i'm learning how to do just i'm not really learning how to do eyebrows because my eyebrows are pretty much done already because um the uh ombre powder um but but i'm just making sure when i add the foundation that the color stays on there all right guys so yeah so today's you guys got to see me with a uh, mask I use for hydration. I have a video on Manuka honey and cinnamon. You guys can watch that to see the benefits. I just wanna show you a new trick on how I, you know, stay hydrated throughout the summer because I keep saying this and I said this last week and I'm gonna say it in every makeup video. Makeup hit differently when your skin is acne free, when your skin is hydrated, like it just hits differently. This time around, I used to wear makeup to cover my acne this time around i'm just wearing makeup because because i want to feel a little glam you all know? right so that wraps up my video guys so yeah so you guys got to see skincare and makeup update um so yeah make sure y'all subscribe because i said so what's up no i'm just playing miami is coming out let me get back to la so um thank you for watching <laughs>
<laughs> thank y'all no for real thank y'all for watching um yeah i really will appreciate it if you guys join the onion skin beauty community i want you to part of our community make sure you check out our website ionskinbeauty.com for all your spa day needs we are working on so many great things guys we have rolls we have steamers we have heaven to get you into that move as you saw earlier i am using our steamer i absolutely love our steamers they penetrate beauty and skincare products 10 times better the truth is in the pudding honey i am not lying my skin does not lie baby <laughs> but nah so y'all make sure you check out our website skinbeauty.com and make sure you stay true to yourself be good to yourself you are your skin you are you are <laughs> you are your skin beauty honey peace and <laughs>